You know, it's it's been a little while since I did this online gig, so I lost all my information. So I, I'm running a few minutes late, but please join me and let me know that you're here and you're watching because, um, gosh, it's been a while. And I just got thinking, I've got these all this new stuff here, and I just wanted to share it with everybody. And um, I hope that you're here to uh, see some new colors and talk about uh, some of your favorite um, things that might be going away and things that are um, coming new. Sorry, I told you in the picture that I had to do my hair. Now I feel like it's in my mouth. Oh, let me grab this. Hold on. Oh, I got my face in the way. Chime in. Let me know that you're here. I'm got. Um, I'm kind. Kind of organized, although I lost all my information and had to. Um, I had to go back on and redo everything. So I'm running just a few minutes late. So let me know that you're watching. I'm gonna set up some things to show you. Uh, I've got some projects here. So every month I do um, a class that is called Stamp It Your Way. I do it with my best friend, Betsy, from Pennsylvania. We um, do it together. And um, hi, Lou. And so it's called Stamp It Your Way because um, you can take what we show you. We're going to uh, give you um, card packets and we're going to give you product every month um, for a small fee. And then you can use what you have on hand, um, whether you have the bundle that we're showing or you don't. But I want to show you the cards because you have, let's see, today is the 7th and we've got three more days to sign up for it. And actually, this is probably one of my favorites. And I and the people who came to class that saw it um, said it was one of their favorites too. So I want to share with you the cards. I'm going to take you down to my desk quickly and show you the cards. So let me get that off of there. So these are the cards. We're doing um, desert details, and uh, we, these are the cards that we're going to um, show on our video and that we have the product for and the cards cut for uh, for the monthly thing. And there's a link in the, um, there's a link in the header uh, for how to sign up. So you can go and get the details if you just want the information. So um, first of all, this beautiful shaker card. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, here is, uh, this is, you're going to be surprised. I'm going to say this is probably one of my favorite cards. I just love the design on it. It's just so pretty and so versatile because you could take this and change the colors very easily and have a whole different look. And then bringing back a technique of the, um, gosh, I can't even think of what it's called, but I got a couple of fun tips in here on, um, how to create, uh, this card. And then Here's a nice simple card just to let someone know that they uh, you're thinking of them and it's time to smile. So I wanted to show you those before we got into the colors. Uh, again, chime in, let me know that you're here and watching. And um, I'm going to go back up here. There are so many things that came, but we um, as demonstrators can only order um, a few things when it comes to the annual catalog. And that's because there's so much to stock. So we have a month and we can order um, a certain number of products, but luckily we could get all the new colors. So every five or six years, Stampin' Up! does what they call a color refresh, and it just takes their palette of colors. Um, they've got, uh, let's see, 40 core colors, plus they've got in colors. So they've got 40 core colors. They've got subtles, brights, regals, and neutrals. If you've been around for a while, you understand that. And then we have 10 in colors, five come in every year and five go out every year. So we've always got 10 and we rotate um, every year. A new five comes in and a new five goes out. So we, um, our color palette is 50 core colors. And then of course we have blacks and hi heart. So glad that you're here. Um, you're going to love these colors in this paper heart. So stay tuned. So we do every five or six years, they do a color refresh. And that's just keeping the colors fresh, uh, what is trending. And um, so it's a really, it's, I, I love it. Some people don't like it because they're like, oh, I have to buy new colors. But I like it because I love color. I like anything color and I like to freshen things up. And so it's really um, something, uh, probably my favorite thing people dread. I actually love it. So good morning, Kathy. I'm so glad that you're here. 
So I'm going to take you down to my desk and we're going to start with some of the returning colors. And um, I'm going to share those right now. So uh, we've got one color that is um, actually one of our in colors that um, is returning and that's Fresh Freesia. And I'm super happy about that because I do love this color. Uh, it just complements a lot of the things. And this is going to go into our subtle. So this was an ink color that um, they just kept. Uh, the other four went out and then they put this into our um, subtle collection. So uh, this is just one that we're, we, we still have and, and we're loving. I actually had to go over and pick up a piece of paper. Um, hi, Tracy. I can't wait to see you soon next month. So then we've got, um, you know, if you know me at all, you know I'm a green person. I'm not really a blue person, but I really was sad when Misty Moonlight went out. I was really sad because I do love this color. It really works um, with a lot of things. And that's why I'm glad that they brought it back with the neutrals. And I think that when I think neutrals, I think those are those underlying uh, colors that um, kind of work with a lot of different um, colors, a lot of different colors like it's like a base color can it, does that make sense i think that makes sense and then we've got blueberry bushel um blueberry bushel is a nice bright blue um i like it i do like it and you'll see why i'm gonna peek a little bit here you'll see some of these bright colors that goes great with it's gonna go into our regal collection so we've got things that are rearranging and um blueberry bushel is coming back and it's um it's a really pretty pretty blue now that I know, I know some of you are like, lemon life twist. It's so bright. Hi, Heather. Hi. Oh, good. Yeah. Come back and watch. So lemon life twist is super bright, but you know me, I love green. So I'm super happy about this, especially because berry burst. Um, I love these two together. That's crazy. But if I'm going to do a birthday card or something bright, these are the two card colors that I go used to go for. So I'm happy that they're returning. Both are going into the Brights collection. And then um, a lot of people are loving, loving the Lost Lagoon and the Pretty Peacock. That's going in the Lost Lagoon's going in the Subtles and then Pretty Peacock's going in the Regals. Um, love this color. Well, I love both of the colors. This is a really pretty green, um, really soft, subtle green. Yes, I know. Loving the color. Tracy says she's loving the color palette. So um, absolutely love it. I'm um, so glad that these colors returned. I'm so glad to be able to use them again. So with that, those are our returning colors that are coming back. Now, let me show you some of the new colors. Um, you're going to love these, okay? So we were really lacking, and, and Tracy can tell you this, we were really lacking in the uh, just a, a nice baby pink. We just didn't have it. Um, the pinks that we had were kind of, uh, heathered so they're a little bit of gray um, but this bubble bath really fits that bill so I'm super happy to have a nice uh, baby pink and I think this is going to be really a great color and you're going to see it in some of the papers I'm going to show you here uh, shortly um, okay as we're none of us can say this as your afternoon this is coming into the brights this is a nice bright blue um, kind of fills that what that tempting turquoise kind of um thing that we we don't have anymore well we've got it in the ink color in our um oh gosh help me out here uh, so i just sometimes i just draw a blank i don't know but this one is um a little darker than that the ink color this surprisingly is probably one of my favorite new colors it's lemon lolly it's going into the subtles now my i can see on my uh camera that's a little bright on there it's a really soft yellow a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's going to be, I'm going to use this a lot. And then pecan pie. Um, what a beautiful shade of brown. We lost our soft, we left our uh, soft subtle. So I, I can see this one um, definitely jumping into that place in the neutral. So super, super gorgeous. So those are our four new colors. Here they are. Lemon Lolly, Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, and Pecan Pie. So beautiful. Now we've got new ink colors. So I'm going to tell you that um, I love these new ink colors. I'm super happy about them. I think they're super trendy. I've heard a lot of um, negativity about these new ink colors, but just, I want you to just wait because 
when you start using these new colors, you're going to see how valuable they are. Um, they are really gorgeous. They are soft. They are muted colors. They're not these super bright ones, but you know what? We've got five really bright in colors. So let's start. I'm going to bring them in. So let's start with copper clay. Um, this color, it kind of fits that rusty. Uh, we've lost that kind of rust color and this one is perfect for that. So copper clay is one of the new ink colors that will be coming in. And this one is wild wheat. They, it's beautiful. It's, I, I know on the screen it looks a little maybe green. I'm not sure, but uh, in person it's a beautiful wheat color. Um, I really love it. Yeah, Tracy says the ink colors are amazing. They are amazing. And then we all knew about this one because we had our little mini, and that's the boho blue. What a soft, beautiful boho uh, blue color, or blue color that's just uh, super, super pretty. I mean, are you seeing how pretty? I know sometimes the ink colors don't go together, but these are really gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I want you to hold your opinions because when you get them and start working with them, I think you're going to change your opinion. So uh, I, I want you to stay positive, I guess is what I'm saying. Here's Moody Mauve. We don't really have anything like this. We've lost, like we had Rococo Rose, but it was even, I think, a little brighter than this. This one's a little softer. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful color. And then lastly, Pebbled Path. And I am super excited about this because we lost one of my favorites, and that was S S uh, Sahara Sand. Sahara Sand was one of those colors that kind of went with everything and it changed colors um, depending on what you put it with. And I think that Pebble Path is going to fill that. It's a little darker, but I think that's going to fill that niche where when you add different colors to it, it will change the look of um, things when you use it with Pebble Path. So those are the end colors. I'm just, I want to, I kind of want to bring them in here, but I don't know if I have enough desk space. So here's our end colors. Here's our new colors. Let's see. Again, chime in if you're watching. Let me know. And then here's our returning colors. Oh, I just covered up the end colors. It's hard when you're working on a desk. New colors. And then here's our returning colors. And there's just a lot of them. So, so really a pretty... Um, Eclectic blend, but look how pretty. I mean, this is not even with the colors that are staying. I mean, these are just beautiful colors. I'm super happy. So the next thing I want to share with you, so we're talking about colors and we're talking about paper. Let me get these set out of the way. I want to show you the pattern, the patterns on the new um, six by six uh, paper. So uh, each color family and the ink colors has um, some paper, the six by six designer series paper that goes with it. And every year the patterns change. So I want to share with you um, the patterns that are on this paper. So here's the patterns. They're a little bit bolder than usual. I really like them. This is the bright colors. So they're, they're all the same as far as the patterns, but these are the pat for the four patterns. You'll, you'll have two different papers that have two sides. And um, let me know, do you like them? I really like them. I'm super happy with that. Uh, super gorgeous. So that's our designer series paper. If you, if there's something that you want to see, I mean, you probably don't know you want to see it, but um, just let me know if I didn't show it long enough. So I'm going to start with some of the designer series paper that we could um, pre-order. And I'm going to start with... Um, this one, which is called uh, Fresh as a Daisy. Now, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't sure about this paper. Um, I'm still not sure, but I think that when I start working with it, it'll be make a big difference. So here's, this is using um, a lot of the new colors. You can see um, the bubble bath here. I think this is probably pecan pie here. This is the wild wheat. So, and maybe boho blue here, and the peacock. So this has got a lot of the new um, colors in it. And I'm going to show you both sides. So just a, just a nice pattern. Luann says she loves these new colors. 
Yeah, no, you can definitely not have too much color. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe you can, but not in my book. This is the um, Fresh as a Daisy. So like kind of a brush look on the back. This is maybe the new Pebble Path. But I think if this was, this was one of those things, I think if I used it in small amounts that I'd probably be super happy with. I love this one. This is like a, a garden green and a pretty peacock. So pretty. There's maybe a wild wheat mixed with maybe the lolly. Let me know what you think. This is pretty. I do love daisies. Don't get me wrong. And I'm going to use this paper and I'm going to love it. And the more I see people do things with it, the more I'm going to love it. Oh, the colors that they say go with it is the Azure Afternoon, which is here, Bo Boho Blue, which is probably both of these combined, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Peppled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So lots and lots of color in that. Lots, lots of new colors. Super, super uh, great. This paper, I meant to show you, has... This sweet has some embellishments. I believe this is the one. These are adhesive back solid gems. Let's just open them. Oop. Yeah, so this has got the lemon lolly and the boho blue and the copper clay, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Does it have it say on there? No, but I'm sure that's probably, probably what it is. So pretty. I love anything that's faceted. You can't really tell. Yeah, there you can see a little bit of the sparkle when it's faceted. It just kind of sparkles and I really, really love that. So we'll set this one aside. Uh, here is the Countryside Inn. Countryside Inn Suite. These are all um, papers that go with a suite. And so this is um, a one that is all blue. It is the, this one only has uh, balmy blue, boho blue, misty moonlight, and night of navy. So you heard a lot of blues in there. And I like to know what you think. Love, love, love. Oh, look it. I hadn't seen that. There's a little bunny there. How cute is that? This is almost, I think this has almost got all the colors. Misty Moonlight, Boho Blue, Night of Navy. That patterns. Well, I'm going to lift this up. I think the color is... <coughs> I like having things matchy-matchy. Yeah. Of course, you know I love that one because it's got birds. This is Tracy's favorite. You're a blue person? I'm not a blue person. I really am not. I don't, I don't love blue. My house doesn't have anything blue in it, but I do love, I do love this paper. I agree with you. I'm going to use this one a ton. This one's got, I didn't realize they had little critters on them. So we've got birds, bunnies, foxes. I guess it says countryside. I'm a little slow sometimes on, on the uptake. This is countryside in Lou. This is countryside in. Country side in I N N. Pretty. Here's a uh, trees. And then the back side is this lovely pattern here. Let's see, can you see? Yeah, there. See, it's just little floral, repeated floral pattern. Um, super, super lovely. And I'm gonna show you, I didn't do this. Let me, I've got, I think this is a stamp set that goes. I'm not prepared for this, so bear with me. This is a stamp set uh, that goes with this suite. Here is a embossing folder, and then I'm not going to show you dies for other ones, but I have to show you the dies for this. So, because you're going to see that stamp. This is right, right? Yeah, countryside, yeah. And that stamp very that's one stamp because these are the dies so now we've got some really nice nested shapes again 
I'm just reading the comments. The blue, okay, yeah, blue willow and cobalt blue glass. Yes, love it. So this will die cut these. Love it. And then here's an embossing folder that um, matches the paper. I showed you that pattern right here. So really, really pretty. So um, I'm not going to show you the dies on everything, but I do want to show you that. And then let me go back a little bit. I'm going to set this aside. Hopefully I'm not. Here's the daisy stamp set. I wanted to show you the daisy that went with the daisy paper. And so here's this daisy stamp set. And I like it because I like the stamp sets that have um, images and words. And so um, this is this is a pretty one. Super pretty. And I can't wait to see what everyone does with it. I'm going to be inspired by them. So there's a cheerful daisy. Now, this one is um, probably my favorite. I know. So, so, seems so silly. If you know me, you'd be like, really? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I kind of like this zany zoo. And here's the stamp set. And here's the paper. And I think what I like about it is the dies will cut out um, like this, this image and this image, same. And here's a color. So if we're like color challenged, then we can look at the paper and go, oh yeah, I see how they did that. This is super cute. And we can copy it on our stamp set. I'm just, just one way, but that's the, um, let me scoot that over. So here I could do it this way. Then you're under going to get that there. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So there's the stamp set. And then here's the paper. I'm going to show you both sides. So the other side is black and white and I'm a super big fan of black and white paper. <laughs> I do have a lot of favorites. Um, but look at totally different color palette. So here's the kind of brights and then here we've gone to more subtles. Um, and then here's the black and white pattern. So there's the front and there's the back or back and front. Here's another set of animals. I mean, how cute. Look at this little yoga sloth and this little llama. Is that a llama? Yeah, I think that's a llama doing her knitting. And then of course the ram baking. I'm going to say baking. And then here's the black and white. Super cute. Let's see. Okay. Set that aside. Here's the, for the musicians. How cute is this little turtle, little beaver? I should stop saying what they are because I'll probably name the animals wrong. And then here's more of a white with black. Anyone else, is anyone else loving this? Or is it just me? I like these little animals. I think they're adorable and I can see using them a lot. <clears throat> here's the backside of this one, more of a... A dancing, we've got all our ballerinas here, so cute. And then here's the outdoorsy. I'm kind of an outdoorsy person. So we got the little flowers. I love this paper, little floral. And then we've got our little outdoor animals. So certainly a wide range of activities and along with a lot of color. So you saw subtles, you saw brights, you saw all kinds of things. And that's the zany zoo um, and also has dyes. I'm going to show you a couple stamp sets that are, um, I don't know, some have dyes, some do not have dyes. So here's Seasonal Branches. This was probably my first choice because, um, you know, I live here in the nest. And so um, anything with birds um, is going to be gorgeous. We are talking about using this for Stamp It Your Way in the future. So um, stay tuned for that. And then Crafting With You. If you're a crafter, you need this stamp set. Um, so we've got our little embossing machine. If you're a sewer, a painter, a knitter, um, just a little bit of everything. So I love, love, love this stamp set. And then we've got Stamped with Love, which is, um, I don't know if this is a, uh, we've got the Stampin' Up! logo. So I'm sure you can use this on the back of your um, cards. But um, I really love this a lot. And I think that um, it's really gorgeous. Then the other two stamp sets that I got were a lot of words. So wonderful thoughts. Um, because I don't think you can have enough of those in your um, your stash. I think that you need... There's just situations where you need a lot of words. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't say I'm not drinking coffee this morning. I'm drinking my big 
my big uh, water bottle because I'm trying to pass a kidney stone. So I'm drinking, drinking as much as I can. So pardon me if I take a lot of drinks. So we've got w wonderful thoughts and then lasting joy. Um, this one is uh, wonderful because it's not only like it's, um, you could use it for a birthday, birthday wishes, uh, missed your birthday. Um, you're going through this or hoping for better days ahead. I'm sorry you're going through this. Uh, thankful you're in my, that you're in my life thinking of you. I mean, it covers a pretty wide gamut of different things. So those are the stamp sets. And then I've got a couple more papers here um, that I did not buy the stamp set for, but I wanted the paper. And that's okay. You can do that because I liked this. Um, it didn't love the birthday stamp set that went with it. That's just me. But I love these this watercolory paper. And I can see using this, um, I may buy the stamp set. I don't know. It's got balloons on it. So um, I didn't buy it right away, but I do love this paper. I mean, look at that. It's so gorgeous. So it's got the pretty peacock, the lost lagoon, night of navy or misty moonlight, misty moonlight, the azure afternoon. That one looks like it could be the night of navy. And then there's a, a moody mauve, I would think. So, see if I'm right. Azure afternoon, berry burst, blueberry bushel, bubble bath, fresh freesia, lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, lost lagoon, misty moonlight, and pretty peacock. So gorgeous. But the other paper that was in that suite, this is gold celebration 12 by 12, gold celebration 12 by 12. And it's acetate. So I think this would be. Um, great. I'm going to leave it on the cardboard here. Let's see, I'll move this out of the way. Oh, I got lights. I got lights reflecting. So let me see if I can. Yeah. Okay. So there's just some confetti, some streamers, and this is just an acetate. So as you can see, um, that's one. And this is the one I really, this is the one I really wanted. This is gold. This is just gold dots. And I think I could use that. For just you could use that for anything anniversary uh, here's one for just celebrations too it's got stars and confetti so just just beautiful you can use that for boxes you can use that for shaker cards um, I know your mind is already reeling on that I want to bring in some of the ribbon so here's the in color new in color ribbon did I have my scissors over here I hope so I don't know oh yes here I do I want to open one of these. I'll just stick that under there and show you. Here's the thing. Oh gosh. Hello. <laughs> I need two hands for just that. Okay, there's the end colors. This ribbon, okay, this ribbon is super soft. You could tie bows with this. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to love this. Sometimes the ribbon's a little stiff, but this one is not. This one's really, really pretty. So there's the new in color ribbons. Gorgeous. And then here is, this goes with the Zany Zoo, that um, kind of whimsical stamp set. So here's the, um, this is a petal pink and then a lemon lime twist. Um, two different sizes. So an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch. So there's a little eighth of an inch lemon lime twist stitched. Really, really pretty. And then here's a quarter inch. I believe this is a petal pink, just a uh, variegated petal pink and white. Super, super pretty. So that goes with the um, Zany Zoo, Zany Zoo. Then I think the last thing, we're kind of running out of time. I try to keep it at about a half hour and we're, we're right there now. Is I want to show you um, that they have changed the... Um, markers so um those this is the old style here's the old style you got your brush tip this is a pumpkin pie and then you've got your writing tip so if you're a journaler here's your writing tip and if if you didn't know the you can tell by the the thickness of the line brush tip writing tip so let me pull out the pumpkin pie out of the bright markers and show you you can see right here the marker length is 
just slightly longer on the new one. What are the things that you can see? The, um, the cap is shorter, so the barrel is longer, which to me means it probably holds a little more um, fluid in it. And then the cap is a little bit shorter. The um, So we're comparing um, apples to apples. Here is the old marker. There's the brush tip on the old marker. And here is the brush tip on the new marker. You'll see some differences. Um, the barrel is black, but the brush tip is, um, can you see that? I'm so far away. I'm so far away. The brush tip is um, much more substantial and um, will, they say that it will hold up longer. So um, you know how sometimes your brush tip gets a little frayed. And then the biggest improvement, this is the old one. This is the writing tip. Okay. And then here is the new one and it has got a nib end. So big, big improvement. If you are familiar with this and this would dry out really, really fast. This one is not going to dry out. This one will be able to use um, for the full length of the marker, which I'm really thrilled about because before you really just, you know, I just saw something peculiar. It's orange on this side, but it's black on that side. Did, are they all like that? I, I don't think you think I knew that. So here's the new one, shorter cap, nicer end. So um, I would at least, you might not want to get all your markers, but you'll want to at least get the new colors um, in the markers so that you have the new style. So um, this is the new one. I'm going to put it right back in there so I don't get them mixed up. Um, but that big improvement, I, I, I see a big, vast improvement in that. And so I'm really, really happy. I'm looking around on my desk to see if I showed you everything. A couple embellishments I didn't show you. Um, this one is the new in color dots. So you've got your um, pebble path. Quiz me on this. Wild wheat, moody mauve, copper clay, boho blue. Ha ha, how'd I do? Pretty good. Is that the only, I think that might be the only two um, embellishments that I had. This one went with the daisies and then this is the new in colors. So chime in, let me know what you think. Um, I, I'm really excited about everything. I'm super excited about the color refresh. Um, I've put some links up on the, um, in the header for, um, the stamp it your way. If you want to get more information about it, you've got three days to sign up for that. And then, um, also about, um, I like to just, I'm going to talk briefly about joining the team because the, the advantage of joining right now, um, is you get $125 worth of product for $99. There is no shipping. Shipping is free. And you can pick some of these products uh, for your um, in your kit. And um, after that, you have free access to the whole catalog and all the pre-order items. So um, if you want to see everything before everyone else, then um, that might be the option for you. There's a link in the header for that. And then if you just want to shop the, um, there's some last chance items. They are selling out really fast. But if you want to get in on the last chance items, I've also put a link up there for you for that. So thank you so much for joining me for Emmy's Three Seas. It's been so long, but I promise, I promise I'm going to be back. I'm going to be gone in May and part of June um, for our incentive trip to Norway. But um, after that, I hope to be back and, and um, feeling better and, I got one more surgery on Wednesday and then hopefully I'm done and, and back on my feet doing really good. So you guys have a great day um, and message me if you have any questions. I'm here for you and I'm here to be your creative coach. So bye everyone. Have a great weekend.